Uh, this is Dr. Vesh. Today we are discussing about the salt analysis. You know that salt is made up of two components. One is the basic radical and other is the acidic radical. Cation come from the base and anion come from an acid. So today I am going to discuss about the basic radical. I am discussing about uh, how we analyze that it contains a particular cation. We have categorized all these cations into six groups. Group 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and one of 0 groups also. We start with the group 1. To the group 1, if we add here dilute HCl, if white color precipitate appears, it means silver, copper or lead may be present. So, once I get the confirmation that group 1 is present, one of the three element is present. But which one? For that, we will go for the confirming test of individual these cations. Today, I have chosen here the lead. So, I will explain step by step how to confirm the presence of the, of the lead in the given compound. So, here I have a sort of uh, lead acidate. It contains lead. Lead as a basic radical and acetate as a analytic acetic So what we do, we take up here a small amount of uh, the salt in a test tube. So this salt, I am adding up the water and make an aqua solution. So shake it well to make an aqua solution. It is a like white turbid uh, solution. It can be just a clear solution also in certain cases. And then we add here dilute hydrochloric acid. If I add dilute hydrochloric acid to this, the white color precipitate must appear. And you can see the white color PPT formed here. So this white color turbid, turbidity, the precipitation is a conformity test that it can contain silver, copper or lead. But which one? Now, we will go for the conformity test of the lead ions now. For that we have two conformity tests. One is the potassium iodide test and second is the potassium chromate test. So again, for that, I will make first of all an aqua solution with the salt here and uh, to this salt I uh, am adding this uh, salt of the lead acidate, put it water bottle, I am adding uh, water and making a solution. After making the solution, I am dividing this solution into two parts because I had to perform two experiments so again and again I don't need to make solutions so here I have two uh, solutions of the salt to the solution one I'll be adding here potassium iodide potassium iodide Ki when I add here potassium iodide to this the yellow color solution or the precipitate must appear that the conformity test of the of the lead ion that you can see here the yellow color PPT found here. So it's a confirmed test of the presence of the of the lead ions. Second test is to this echo solution here I have a second part of the sample here. I'll be adding here a potassium chromate solution. It's the potassium chromate and I have made a solution of it. So if I add here potassium chromate to this solution the yellow color PPT must appear. So let us see if it gives yellow property the lead ion is confirmed so oh yes you can see the yellow color keep it presented here right so this is a confirmatory test of the presence of uh, lead ions thank you